SharePoint responsive banner slider is an easy to use slider with beautiful designs. The slider is highly customizable. You can customize the color theme, animations and transition effects as well as many more features that you can actually customize uh, using the configuration page. This add-in wipes out the limitations of SharePoint slideshow work part by adding exciting new features with advanced animations. Okay, now the fun part. Let's jump on the site and show you how you can configure it. The process is really easy. You can have your slider up and running on your intranet, extranet or internet pu public facing site within actually in less than five minutes. Let's see how you can actually do that. All right. So I'm looking at our uh, SharePoint site on Office 365. So to actually add install the uh, app to your site or add in, just click on the gear icon click site content and right here you have the app if you already downloaded the app from the uh, SharePoint store or you downloaded the app file from office um, uh, sorry Cotec Inc .com. Um there are two ways you can actually add it all right you click add an app and again as, as I said earlier if you downloaded the uh, file from Cotec Inc .com, w w Cotec Inc .com, um upload it to your app catalog and it's going to be available right here and you and as you can see we already installed the app uh to our site the second way is going into the sharepoint store when you go into sharepoint store just click the search uh, uh on the search bot i'm uh, sorry on the search box right there and search for responsive banner slider and it's going to come up and just install it but we already installed the app on our site so all we're going to do is configure it all right so to configure it just click on the, the app icon and it's going to bring you into the administration page for this particular app let's just look at uh, have a quick overview of the administration page you have the home page you have uh create new slide that actually shows you um walk you through the whole process pretty easy you enter the title the the url and indicate if you want that particular slide to open on this in the same window or on a new tab uh, as well as the button text the description and the order of the slide if you want it to be the first slide or the fifth slide or the third slide no matter what you want click uh, um, select your file and just click um, uh, create new slide we can also view your current slides uh, as you can see we already have a couple of slides if you want to edit it you just hover over the image and the edit button it shows up and you just click edit it takes you to the edit page you can actually edit everything all right let's cancel that go back and um you, you have the settings page the settings right here you can actually configure the slider interval and everything is in seconds uh, you can configure the transition effect, you can configure the design, the title, the description, the caption, as well as the animation. You can also choose a color theme for your slider. So let's create a couple of slides, okay? So I'm, I have some predefined text by Google Chrome. I'm just going to uh, select them. And uh, for this particular slide, I want this to open. Do you want it to open in a new tab? Yeah, let's just say, say yes. And uh, the text for this button is going to be uh, shop now. Let's go to offer commerce and just grab some text from the page. And obviously, this is our first slide actually. We have a couple of slides already so let's start by deleting all of those all right so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to delete all everything that we currently have and we'll upload the slide all over again all right so i'm going to delete that delete that and the last one okay go back to create new slide all right let's select our file and this is going to be our first slide click create and there you have it we have our first slide right there okay let's create a couple more This one, we want it to open. We don't want it to open in a new tab. 
and the text for this one is just going to be C futures uh, let's put futures alright description really doesn't matter leave it like that create new slide let's do the same thing This one is going to be slightly different. And we're going to grab description from nextsharepoint.com. Just going to grab some temporal text. This is just for demo purpose. Okay, this is going to be our third slide. And just select an image do the same thing for the fourth one okay see admin support doesn't matter leave the text like that create So let's see how many slides do we have so far. We have one, two, we have five slides. All right, let's just do one last one. Okay, just one last quick slide. And the button for this one is going to be enter now. And this is a six one. Nice. Okay, we have our slide. All right, so let's return to the. Um, side and actually see how um, what happened when you actually add the slider again as I said this is an app part right so you add it to your page as an app part let's see how you can do that so I'm gonna edit the page click the gear icon click edit all right so I'm gonna in click insert again app part and select responsive banner slider click add so by default you're gonna have just some color background and default text just popping in alright so um, this is what you get by default but this is because we haven't published our changes we created the site the slide but we haven't published our changes so it's very very important guys after you create your slide actually after every single change you make from the administration page make sure you publish your changes so that it appears for everybody to be able to see all right um, so let's go back and actually publish our changes oh sorry i click edit button instead of a uh, site content so click the gear icon click site content and click banner slider all right so the first thing i want to do is i want to publish my changes click publish and the changes were published successfully now this is very important it's a one-time thing so each slider so when you download the slider so uh you get a key so whenever you're adding the slider to your page the app part to your page there is a configuration that you have to insert if you don't insert that particular configuration as you can see i can refresh this page it's it's not going to show anything it's still going to show the default um, uh, color background all right you need to insert the key right here to be able to tell it that okay go ahead and load my my, my changes all right and this is a one-time thing so from now onward whenever you after you insert the key um wh whenever you make any change you go back tomorrow or the day after you make any change and just click publish it's just going to automatically display right here so let's edit the page and insert our key into the app part properties so click um, edit web part properties all right i'm just going to change the chrome to none 
that means I just want to rem remove the part this particular title and I'm gonna insert the key right there click OK and there you have it now you can see your images after you inserted the key the images are now coming in your text your description everything is now coming in all right let's look at the next one actually let's click on it so we said this particular slide we said it should open in a new tab so watch i'm going to click on it it opens in a new tab but the second one i think we said it should open in the same page so let's wait for the second slide to come or we can actually even use the navigation to actually um let's use the navigation uh, to go to the next one all right so this one is supposed to open in the same window all right as you can see it actually opens in the same window instead of opening in a new tab so let's click the back button to go back all right let's look at a few more changes some other changes that you, so a few more uh, customization that you can do go back to site content responsive banner slider and let's go to the settings page and i want to configure the um the slider timing so i want it to uh let's just say one need to run every three let's say five seconds all right publish changes and i'm going to open it in a new tab or actually let me open in ie so that you can actually see that this particular um i'm not i'm actually not logging but this particular slider is available to anonymous user so you can actually see that for yourself so let me refresh the page in ie and there you have it the slides coming in and you uh, and again i am not logging in ie it's available to anonymous users um so let's go ahead and publish um the uh the, the, the slider interval we've changed it to five seconds publish that and refresh the page so now it's going to come in a little faster all right so every five seconds there you go you can see for yourself every five seconds it pops in all right let's uh change the design i want to change the um the transition effect to flipping and the uh, slider design to thumbnail let's publish that and see how it actually look all right let's refresh our page and there you have it totally different design with thumbnails that you can actually um, navigate each particular slide right there all right and again it behaves just like the other design the button if you click on it if you configure it that it should open in the same tab it's going to open in the same tab another thing that we can also configure is um the slider interval all right so let's look at that sorry um yeah, the the, uh, the slider order so let's view our slides so currently we have this guy as our first um, our, our first slide right so we want the huge giant clock to be our first slide and we want this guy to be our third slide click save slide changes all right uh and again as i always say you definitely want to go ahead and publish your changes all right so now if we refresh the page we we revert back to the um, uh, default design and th this big giant clock which is currently the fifth is going to be now the first slide so let's refresh the page and there you have it the big giant clock is now the fir the very first slide all right and it's actually flipping in as an x there you have it so Another thing you can actually do is you can actually um, uh, customize the color theme. So let's change the color to something red. The color theme of your slide to something red. Save slide changes. Let's refresh the page. 
and there you have it you see now the color of the button is red is reddish it looks kind of bur burgundy to me but yeah you get the point so it's kind of uh, reddish in color and it's a different design that actually um, um, uh, map your site so if you have the design of your site is red you, pro you probably want to choose the red design all right and that wraps it up for our for our demo today you can actually send us uh, an email for if you have any questions at info at cotechinc.com that's cotech c-o-t-e-k-i-n-c.com info at cotechinc.com if you have any uh any information if you if you have any issues just send us an email we'll definitely jump in and help you uh with your issues thank you so much